So Valuetainment is one of the biggest channels on all the YouTube. I'm a big fan of Valuetainment. I really enjoy Patrick Bear David. He's, uh, he's a journalist. He interviews a lot of interesting people and as well gives his opinion on the economy and stuff like that. He's a really, really smart guy and I enjoy his content. But his company recently on Instagram lied on the sport of boxing. And I cannot allow that to happen on my watch, regardless if I'm a fan or not. This is the lie they put out there. And uh, again, I find it important for me to call it out is because if you leave a lie out there long enough, it becomes the truth. And I cannot allow that to happen on my watch. So I'll read the caption for you. And then I'll break down as to why I'm so offended by this and why this has to be corrected, why I have to clarify that it isn't true. So I'll read the caption. It says, Real Sports with Brian Gumbel is a serious sports show that focuses on journalistic integrity. So we will assume what they report is accurate. Having said that, brace yourself for what they revealed this week on their latest episode. Jake Paul made $45 million boxing in 2021, making him the highest paid boxer in the world. Okay. I understand they looking at it like, hey, we're just going by what real sports reported. And, you know, but you cannot be that lazy where you're not looking into that, especially when the numbers are so easily, you can look it up so easily on the internet. And by the way, I'm going to do that now. I'm going to show you guys how this is a lie. And I'm going to hopefully create awareness to the valuetainment team so they can take that down and maybe put out a statement saying, hey, listen, we have reported this through another source that it, you know is not involving us, but that was inaccurate. But let me break it down. So Canelo Alvarez fought three times in 2021. Let's see how much he got paid for the Yildrum fight. Since, you know, according to them, you know, uh, Jake Paul is the highest paid uh, boxer. So Canelo Alvarez made $15 million in the Avni Yildrum fight. Okay. That's still not 45, what they reported. Okay. How much did Canelo make for the Billy Joe Saunders fight? Let's check that out now. Okay. It says here, Canelo earned an estimated $35 million for beating Billy Joe Saunders in his last fight. Okay. That already exceeds the numbers that were given for uh, the 45 million that was given for Jake Paul. All right, how much money did he make in the Caleb Plant fight? Let, let, let's see that. So this was a pay-per-view fight, by the way. So it says, can, uh, with Alvarez receiving $40 million and and Plant earning $10 million. So that's all, just in one fight, he made $40 million. And, and by the way, this is a pay-per-view, so this is not including the back end of, of this pay-per-view. So that already uh, almost doubled, if not more than doubled, what was reported that Jake Paul made in that real sports uh, article. All right, let's see how much Jake Paul got paid in the first Tyron Woolley fight. Let's go. This is CBS Sports, right? They wouldn't lie. Jake Paul made $2 million. Tyron Woolley made $2 million. Okay. And that's not including the pay-per-view. So we don't know what's the what's the back end. Maybe he made more on the back end than Canelo. All right, all right. We'll, we'll get to that point. We'll get to that point. All right. Let's see how much Jake Paul made in the second Tyron Woodley fight. All right. That was the first one. Let's see. Maybe the second one, they made way more. Let's see. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, there we go. It says, both fighters earn more based on pay-per-view sales and sponsorship dollars with the estimates with some estimates that Paul earned up to 5 million for the event. So, roughly 5 million dollars. Let let's call it 10. Let's call it 10 the million dollars. All right. So he made 10 million dollars for that fight. Still not all right, but let's check out the pay-per-view numbers. We don't know the pay-per-view numbers. Maybe Jake Paul is this big pay-per-view star and outsus Canelo, who knows? I don't know. Let's check. I let, let you know. Let's just check because I I have no idea. Let's go. According to a report by Boxing Scene, the Canelo versus Plant pay per view absolutely crushed it with an estimated eight hundred thousand buys in domestic U.S. Eight hundred thousand. All right. Well, Canelo only had one pay per view. Jake Paul had two. So maybe the numbers is gonna favor. Jake Paul, at least in one of them, right? All right, let's check it out. I don't know. I don't know. Let, let's 
let's let's see what the articles on the internet say let's check that out before before we make a judgment one sec let me find it damn i just had it right oh there we go all right paul versus woodley performed in the range of 480,000 to 500,000 pay-per-view buys with other sources suggesting the total could be lower okay right, let's say let's go on the high end let's give them let's give them 500,000 buys let's give them that still less than what canelo did in one pay-per-view 800,000 right then let's go to the second let's go to the rematch i don't I, maybe the rematch went crazy and it, let's see what that says jake paul's knockout win over tyrone woolley reportedly flopped collecting 65,000 pay-per-view buys on cable and satellite, according to the Zone News. All right, so not only is his guarantee lower, Canelo had one pay-per-view that was more than both of his pay-per-views combined. Like, bro, this is a big mistake. This is a big lie that was on your channel. I mean, excuse me, on your Instagram. And again, I know you're just trying to outsource your information and say, oh, it came from Real Sports and Brian Gumble. Bro, this is, this is literally information i just typed in in google and found out you cannot just allow a a, a a a news source that is not focused in on boxing give you your news if i say something report it because i did my research i'm a real boxing journalist you know if the boxing voice says something report it punch drunk ring iq don't look at us just as youtubers we real journalists and we really covering the sport if ESPN not going to give you the content and the information you need, HBO Sports going to lie to you, come to my channel. I'll educate you. But don't lie on my sport, and it won't fucking happen. And I'll have anybody from Valuetainment or Real Sports and HBO come on my channel, or I'll go on their channel, or we can have a private conversation. We can have a full discussion about it because they're not going to lie on the sport, and I'm not going to lie it. allow it. I'm not. I'm sorry. And, yeah, I'm turned up because – People like to treat boxing like like a fucking oh yeah yeah that, that sport don't count yeah like yeah boxing is dead even though Tyson Fury just did ninety four thousand people in, in in a heavyweight lineal championship fight against Dillian White where he made over thirty million dollars in one fight. Meanwhile, how how much is Tom Brady making a year? I'm talking about in, in the sport. I'm not talking about like endorsements or businesses that he owns. I'm talking about in football. How much money is he? Made? How much money? is uh, uh lebron james making is it more than canelo did against plant 40 million dollars plus 800 back end on the pay-per-view boxing is well and alive and i and i know damn well that's what hbo was trying to do they were trying to downgrade the sport and trying to make it seem like boxing is there just because they're not in the business no more but now nah, motherfucker the, the the sport is alive and well and we're living in a golden era whether you guys are paying attention or not, this is a golden era in boxing, and we're getting fantastic fights. And again, I'm not going to allow anybody to lie, lie on my sport. But all right, guys, that's my video. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. I also go live every single Wednesday, 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific. Uh, if you guys want to call in and ask me a question or, or debate me or do anything, I always pin the link to the top of the chat, and that goes for anybody. Anybody in the world. You want to click that link? You want to debate me? Cool. I'm with, I'm with auto smoke. But all right, guys, till next time. Peace.